Okay, we're flipping low the coin, probably of head 7.7. 7. And since you're flipping a coin, each coin flip is not going to affect each other. They're going to be independent. So when you flip it three times, that's going to be a Bernoulli trial with n equals 3. Here we have random variable x defined to be 3 times the number of heads minus 1 times the number of tails. How many different values are possible for a random variable x? Okay, so let's look at the outcomes first. Again, this worked out just like the multiple scenario with head and tail. We're flipping it three times, so we can have three head, two head, head or zero head, respectively zero tail, one tail, two tail, and three tails. And now we want to look at the x values. If you have three heads, simply treat this like an algebra substitution kind of thing. So 3 times 3 is 9 minus 1 times 0, which is 0. So 3 times 3 minus 1 times 0, which is going to be 9. And the next one is going to be 3 times 2 minus 1 times 1, so 5. And the next one, 3 times 1 minus 2, so it's going to be 1. And then negative 3. For this problem, you I, I'm not sure you might need to actually construct the entire probability density function as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, which means you're going to need the probability of each of the x. These are going to be Bernoulli trials. So we're looking at here, probability of x is going to be the probability of this, probability of x equals 9 is going to be the probability of the outcome of this particular outcome. This is the Bernoulli trial, as I've said. So we're going to be using the Bernoulli formula. With, let, let, let's go and call head to be success. So we're essentially making p.7. Here we're going to, we, we see three success with 0.7 being the probability of success, 0.3 being the probability of failure. And here, same thing, two success, and one failure. Here we have one success, and two failures. And finally, we have zero success and three failures. Here I'm not I'm not gonna punch them all out in the calculator, so you would just basically type them all out in the calculator. Three shoes three being one, three shoes two and three shoes one being threes. And this is also one. So just type them in the calculator and you'll get the numbers each.